You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, this is Rob, this is ETN, and you're watching the Weekly Entertainment Wrap-Up. So The Walking Dead spin-off show finally has a title, and it's called Fear the Walking Dead. Now, the spin-off series is supposed to debut during the summer, but however tonight, as of this recording that is, during the, mid during the season finale for The Walking Dead, we're supposed to get a glimpse of this upcoming show, so that should be pretty exciting. So here on ETN, a couple of videos we've spoken about the trend of movie universes. We know that Marvel Cinematic Universe obviously has established themselves. Warner Brothers is trying to develop their DC universe. Sony is now rumored to be developing a Ghostbusters universe that might entangle with Men in Black. Now Paramount is getting into the mix. Rumor has it that Transformers is being made into a universe. They want to make two additional sequels as well as start developing spin-offs for the series. Now, this is completely understandable considering that three of the last four Transformer movies have made a billion dollars worldwide, rivaling money-wise, not quality, but rivaling the MCU. So it'll be interesting to see going forward how Paramount is going to develop this universe and whether or not Michael Bay is going to be involved. So the Star Trek sequel may have found its villain. Rumors are circulating that Ildris Elba is in early talks to play a Klingon villain in the next sequel for the Star Trek series. Now this will be interesting because many movies we've seen Elba play in, he usually plays a good guy, you know, obviously Pacific Rim, the Thor series, however it's going to be interesting to see his acting skills put to the test when playing a villain, which should be very fun but very challenging, so hopefully he gets the deal. So the X-Files is coming back to Fox, yes, much to the delight of many fans across the nation, perhaps across the world, when I say nation I mean the United States by the way, not the nation nation, but anyway, David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson will be reprising their roles as Scully and Mulder, and it's going to be a six part series debuting this summer, so we can look forward to that. Now, now perhaps we can get some people behind the return of the Fringe. Yep, no, no one? Okay, maybe 10 more years? So did we finally get a runtime for Avengers Age of Ultron? Well, the rumor has it that it's going to be 2 hours and 23 minutes. Now, this may not please most fans who wanted a long, adventurous project. However, considering that we don't have to have an introduction for most of the cast, we only need introductions for Ultron, Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, as well as The Vision. So hopefully Joss Whedon had enough time to set out what he wanted to do for this movie, but we'll be the ones to find out in about a month. So in recent Spider-Man news, website Cinema Blend is reporting that it will be a Peter Parker. Yes, that it will be a Peter Parker, they feel very confident about this. However, after reading the article, I gotta say it's still not 100% confirmed. It's a safe bet to say it's gonna be Peter Parker. Cinema Blend got their reference from Joe Quesada, who made a comment about the importance of developing Peter Parker and how if he's developed correctly, that can make the story much more better. They decided to run with that and say that it all but confirms that it's going to be Peter Parker, but I have to say, I think he's just talking in general and using Peter Parker as an example considering that Peter Parker has been the majority character wearing the Spider-Man outfit. However, again, it's a safe bet it's going to be Peter Parker. It's not groundbreaking news, so we're definitely going to get some Spider-Man news at some point or another considering he's going to be in Civil War next year, so it's only a couple of months before we find out. I'm willing to bet it's going to be Comic-Con. So in video game news, Nintendo has announced that they're delaying the next Zelda installment that was supposed to come out this year for the Wii U. Now it's the common reasons, new ideas, new directions they want to go in, they want to make the game the best they can, but a lot of Nintendo fans believe that they're going to hold the title over for a new console that they're working on. They also mentioned that they will not be showing any game footage at E3, so that's a bit of a bummer. And finally, 20% of One Direction, the boy band, is gone! Yes, gone! Vocalist Zayn Malik has left One Direction to go in a direction of his own. However, the group will progress forward on their current tour. Now, no one here really gives a shit about this news, but I just thought it was pretty funny that a boy band breaking up would bring so many tween girls near death when we've seen this happen before. If there's One Direction, I hope these guys go in is downhill, and please take Justin Bieber, take Miley Cyrus, make the world a better place. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Join the nation's Facebook page to meet other subscribers or visit ETN's Facebook page and Twitter page. Links for all are in the description. You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. 
Hey guys, this is Rob, this is ETN, and you're watching the Weekly Entertainment Wrap-Up. So The Walking Dead spin-off show finally has a title, and it's called Fear the Walking Dead. Now, the spin-off series is supposed to debut during the summer, but however tonight, as of this recording that is, during the, during the season finale for The Walking Dead, we're supposed to get a glimpse of this upcoming show, so that should be pretty exciting. So here on ETN, a couple of videos we've spoken about the trend of movie universes. We know that Marvel Cinematic Universe obviously has established 